YouTube channel for Mania. So in today's video, we are doing the detailed tips and tricks video of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So guys, let's get started. So guys, this is my Galaxy Note 10 Plus. You can see there are no distractions. There is no buttons at the bottom. So actually, I have enabled the just a navigation. For enabling that, go to display and then go to the navigation bar and enable the full screen gestures by default it will be on the navigation buttons and enable the full screen gestures and you can either have the gesture hints that will be a small barrel at the bottom but actually i prefer the more immersive look that's why i disabled that then for back just swipe over on the left or swipe on the right and then for the home just swipe up and for the recent just swipe up and stop at the middle so this is the best convenient way the next thing is always having the battery percentage at the top so if you want to see the battery percentage at by default you have to pull down the notification panel then see the battery for all the time you have to see the battery percentage then go to the three dots in the notification panel and then go to the status bar and then show battery percentage this will be disabled by default you have to enable it then all the time the battery percentage will be there then guys the next thing is regarding the lock screen so actually i am going to unlock my lock screen see you can see you can have two icons either i can go to gts andreas or either i can go to this is called floating button actually by its most convenient way so if you have a fingerprint enabled just press and hold the fingerprint icon then you can see the two options over here uh, either the GTS Andreas or GTA Vice City, you can customize it to any of them, like your recent uh, call or your camera. Actually, I have set to GTS Andreas and GTA Vice City for more gaming experience. So you can see just swipe and here you go. So this is another convenient way if you have a sort of switch gamer and all. So you can set PUBG all the time for here. So just press and hold over here and you can select PUBG or anything as you like. So how to enable the floating button? So for that, you have to go to the settings and then go to the lock screen and upon here you can see shortcuts so actually by default there will be bottom corners actually i will show bottom corners so this will be bottom corners you can see gts andreas gta yct and you have to select this as floating button so after selecting floating button you can have press and hold the fingerprint for a long time even if after it's unlock and then it's gonna see it's gonna bring these both so that's the most convenient way and the next thing is regarding the side key settings actually you can see go to the power and you can see the side key settings and actually you can set any app on double tap so actually i will show you open app so if actually i'm sort of uh, going to settings on double tap so actually if you want to go to settings just double tap your power key or you can say power slash bixby key so you can see i'm just double tapping over here you can see settings comes immediately so you can set it up to anything as you like it's uh, by default upon you so side key settings and go to you can or quick launch camera or open bixby or open app you can have bunch of apps which you prefer you can set it up and then press and hold the Bixby key. You can have the power of menu or wake Bixby. So I set it to power of menu, it's more convenient. So there are two options. Either you can power from here from the notification panel or you can press and hold for here for the notification. So for the power menu. So it's upon you on selecting which one do you like. Then guys, we know that this is a 6.8 inch display. So the one handed usage is bit, you can see, uh, it's a bit tough for me to hold on the notification panel. So for so for that you have to press and hold over here and go to home screen settings and enable the swipe down for notification panel this will be turned off by default so you want to turn it on swipe down for notification panel then you only need to just swipe swipe and notification panel is here and swipe up your app stream will be there so this is another convenient way and you can see some people like uh home screen with many of the applications so almost all the applications in the app launcher will be on the home screen so some people like very minimalized apps uh, like me you can see many minimalized apps so it's upon you on deciding which one you like so for that go to the home screen settings and you can see app grid or home screen grid so you can set the home screen grid to 4 into 5 4 into 6 5 into 5 5 into 6 so in 5 into 6 you can have almost many applications on a single page instead of having multiple pages or same goes with the home screen grid too you can have 5 into 6 and you can almost have many applications on a single page so it's up on you on customizing which one do you like you so i will show you four new icons will be a bit smaller but compared to the 4 into 6 we will get an absolute good one so i actually i really like the four basic one that means the four into five one 
see that's almost I really like so that's the thing then the face widgets on the lock screen so I will show you the face widgets first so actually this is the face widgets you can see it's going here and there by default we will not be having this much widgets for selecting that you need to go to settings and go to the lock screen and here we can see face widgets so you can turn all this on so if you have music alarm the next upcoming alarm weather updates bsp routines everything will be here and you can either even reorder to any order which you like so it's upon you on enabling or disabling the face widgets then the next thing is regarding the notification actually or oh, you may already know actually if you press and hold any of the icons over here see it will go directly to the that settings and all and one more thing is that if you want to just a quick review of the settings then just tap the label so you can see a quick review so it's upon you on which one do you prefer and all it's the one-handed mode so actually if you want to enable the one-handed mode just go to the center and just swipe down over here like this and you have one-handed mode enabled and for disabling just tap on the blank black area so if you are in a metro or some sort of having one hand at other usage and also this is more convenient just uh, over here and you can have multiple options for enable the one-handed gestures and i will show you go to the advanced features and go to the one-handed mode and you can have a gesture that's swipe down in the center of the bottom and that's why i have shown and the next thing is double tap the home button if you have the button navigations enabled so it's upon you on enabling which one do you like the most so so this is one i will feel most convenient so this is the one-handed mode and the next thing is the regarding the edge panel and the edge features actually i will show you quickly so you can see my edge panel this is my soft key edge panel you can see i can lock screen capture back home or if you want to see everything at a glance then you can have the everything at a glance option so if you want to download many things then you go to the settings and you can go to the galaxy store just enable the data so you want to go to the galaxy store and you can see a bunch of uh, things soft key edges like you can see apps smart select tools live messages people tasks actually the calculator this is the most which i found useful so that's why i set it up and actually i found the most useful is the soft key edge so actually i use this more all the time so this is regarding that and you can have multiple uh, soft key edge from the top pay top free or anything you can download anything from here and uh, you need to select them actually i will show you cancel so everything you have downloaded will be arrived on the edge panels and you can select which one do you like maximum of 10 panels can be selected actually i have already selected many that's why so and then you can either reorder them so in any order which you'd like that means direct call anything and you can use them so that's regarding the edge panel then about the edge lightning so go to the settings and go to the display and you can have or you can even directly go go from the navigation bar itself so you can have edge lightning you can have a tons of effect for the edge lightning you can see basic verb bubble uh, multicolor glow glitter there are multiple effects like heard firefox and everything and you can set it up color which you like and advanced options you can select the width which you can see the width now it's the width is too high you can set to medium you can set to narrow uh, also transparency duration how much time it should be how much transparent it should be so it's upon you highly customizable and you can also select which all applications so actually if you're a sort of heavy whatsapp user or oh, you may get all the time the whatsapp notification and all the time there will be the edge lightning and it will consume so much battery so uh, you can enable the whatsapp or disable the whatsapp and you can enable the basic messages and all of it so it's upon you on customizing these things and the next thing is regarding the AOD customization that means the always on display so go to the display and you can have the always on display in this phone so go to the always on display Let's enable that and you can have three options for the always on display tap to show so I will show first tap to show so this is the best thing because it won't consume by showing all the time battery just single tap it will show the time and everything so this is the most convenient way and you can have show always or show us scheduled maybe your office time maybe your school time maybe you are sleeping and all so it's upon you guys on deciding which one you like then guys you can have a uh, show fingerprint icon whether you need fingerprint icon or not or something like that you can have also there then the next thing is actually you can see 
if if i unlock my phone with my fingerprint it's so a ripple effect you can see see a ripple effect and it feels me at heavy transition effect so some says that oneplus is by very faster than that of the samsung actually the oneplus animation scale is very low when compared to the samsung's animation scale actually samsung always scales high the animation because of the transition effect they need smooth transitions so actually but uh, we can have some options like that for reducing that red animation so you can have the option like show animation when unlocking you can turn it off now you can instantly just directly go to the home screen you can see no animations just quickly random boom so that's it so i got actually i prefer uh, the and lock screen animation and all so actually i will always look for that actually i really like that one So it's upon you guys on which one do you like the most and all and actually one more option is there regarding that too so i will show you go to the settings and go to the advanced features and you can see reduced animation this also has the same impact like actually by default it will be turned off reduced animations it will be phone will be more snappier more quicker more responsive and all so that's regarding that then actually i have already told about the lock streams and actually i will go once quickly for that so guys in the always on display you can have bunch of uh clock styles variety of clock styles you can see many of them which one do you like you can set it up it's up on you a bunch of customization actually when compared to the oxygen OS, the galaxy one ui is a bunch of customization you can, can't uh, tell uh, everything in actually if you want the galaxy not plus features full of the features it will be nearly two and a half hours or nearly three hours it will took along with this one it might go even further that means how um, highly customized is one ui so it's upon you guys on disabling enabling features going more deeper and deeper to the settings and all so that's regarding the always on display now you will show my always on display just quickly just a single tap so you can see so that's regarding the always on display on selecting clocks and all then you can have something called high contrast keyboard so go to your keyboard and you can see settings In settings you can have style and layout and you can select high contrast keyboard then you can see your keyboard looks like wow it's like you have applied some theme or something like that uh, to your keyboard it uh, feels nice if you want something try something new and all so just do this then we have another option regarding that it's go to settings and uh, go to the handwriting then this is the feature show handwriting pad when the s pen is detected so you want to enable that and uh, if you are typing some sort of and i just pull out my s pen see you can see immediately the keyboard disappears and my pen appears and actually it is a great tool actually if you write in your own handwriting it will detect as perfectly hi um fine see it's writing perfectly no issues uh, so far so it's a perfect handwriting tool if you want to uh, write something depth something quickly and also i really like this so that's then guys the next thing is regarding the camera shutter as you guys can see the shutter over here and if you are uh, taking some selfie and all and you aren't decent uh, fit your hands near to the shutter and you can have the shutter anywhere you can see that now the shutter is here take a snap now the shutter is here take a snap so it's more convenient regarding the camera actually guys i see some people use the flash notification for third party apps for using the flash notification or screen flash and actually this is by default in the samsung's ui itself so go to the accessibility and then go to the advanced settings and here you can have flash notification so you can have two types of flash screen camera flash you get every time you get a notification your camera will flash or you can have the screen flash you can see a preview over here so this is the screen flash and uh, camera flash preview see so these are in basic on the ui itself now i'll show you my power menu so this is my power menu so actually now somebody can unlock my phone with my fingerprint if i am not uh, 
aware if they can still use if i am sleeping or something like that they can just press my finger over here and just unlock so if you are sort of sleeping or if you are out of your home or if you are some at of office party and all then the best thing is to do is a lockdown option i will show you how to enable that so if you are in a party or obviously you will be with friends or some other colleagues many people will be there so if you're in someone's house or don't want to use at any cost then you have to go to this lock screen option so it's not for everyone uh, ones whose privacy is more secured so go to the secure lock settings and then you have to type your password and then over here you can see show lockdown option so go to the power menu and you can see see lockdown mode so if you are in lockdown mode then you can't use your fingerprint or your face recognition over here so you can see only your with your fingerprint only with your pin you can enter so this is the best convenient way if you are out of a party or something like that for now no one will be steal your phone so this is the best convenient way for that too so i really like that one now the next thing that annoying most of the gamers are actually if you're playing PUBG and some caller arrives and your entire screen will be filled with their uh, calls and regarding that. So if you want to skip that and still want to attend your phone, you all need to go to settings and then go to the call display while using apps. So you can see my mini pop up pop up full screen this is this is by default you are getting so you can set to mini pop-up while playing pubg and all just any just enable this and this is the best convenient way of using so you can see so you can also keep calls in pop-up or you can say it any methods you can actually i prefer the pop-up one which you can switch between the normal to the speaker and all so mini pop-up will be very tiny and it's uh, more convenient it's upon you on selecting which one do you prefer more so actually i have now set the mini pop-up and other some settings are Go to your answering and ending calls so you can see press volume to answer press side key to end calls so you can set it up to any method so if you don't want to use your touch screen or your finger is wet or your hands are wet or something like that or if you're in a rainy condition or that or you, this is the ip68 so there is no issues of rain and or normal rain and all so you can have this option press volume up to answer so you can just have the volume up to answer and quickly end calls you can press your side key and also that's most convenient ways of answering and ending calls all you all guys will be familiar with the iPhone's accessibility that means assistive touch and all but you won't actually I never seen a guy using a Samsung phone uh, have that accessibility but it is still on the Samsung's device so it's under accessibility and go to the interaction and dexterity and you can select from here assistant menu so this is the assistant menu which we can do bunch of things you can see it will be over there and you also along with that you can set it up its transparency you can control which of which all options will be there which all you can control power of menu recent home buttons and everything you can uh, customize upon yourself so that's a really nice thing and you can also set it up transparency you can high low or its size to small like as on the iphone so you can see so this is the best thing actually uh, screen off I always use the edge panel for screen off actually some people actually the soft key edge over here is now being removed from the store and you have to download third party stuff so if you are not of sort of user who use third party stuff and all then this is the assistant menu is perfect for you so just go over here and uh, screen off so that's the most convenient way so these are the basic tips and tricks of the galaxy note m plus actually I will be doing it uh, galaxy s pen review hidden tips and tricks later in this channel guys so stay tuned and subscribe thank you